Hello and welcome there again friends. It's 12-9-2021 and this is the Odin Project Vlog Day 12. Today we are going to be talking about and going over the CSS uh, exercises. So if you remember where we left off, um, we were down here at the uh, the exercises here at CSS exer exercises repository so basically I ended the video yesterday with uh, showing you the the uh, git clone and the pull down of the repo and the fork and that's what I have here in front of me so let's get started so you pull all this down and this is my local copy of all this um, the first class you, you drop down the foundations folder and not class excuse me uh, first lesson is 01 CSS methods and you do these in order 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, I'm gonna record these one at a time uh, just so it, the, it can break up the videos and they're not one video isn't like super long so this is 01 CSS methods so I don't know if you can read this. Let me see if I can uh, make it just a smidgen bigger. Actually, for right now, we'll just do this. Okay. So it says, in this exercise, you're going to practice adding CSS to an HTML file using all three methods, as we talked about yesterday. Internal, this is all stuff we went, went over yesterday. External CSS, internal CSS, and inline CSS. You should only be using type selectors for this exercise when adding styles via the external and internal methods. You should also use keywords for colors like blue instead of using RGB or hex values. There are three elements you should add styles to, each of which use a different method of adding in CSS to it as noted in the outcome image below. And here's the outcome. Here's what here's basically what we're trying to get to at the end uh, of this exercise. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all their exercises in this section will have a CSS file provided and linked for you, but in this exercise, you'll have to create one of the files, the file yourself, and link it in the HTML. This is all about practicing using these different methods and getting the syntax right. The properties you need to add each element are a div tag, a p tag, and a button. And the div tag is a it's, it needs to contain a red background, white text, a font size of 32 pixels, center line, and bold. The P tag is a green background, white text, and a font size of 18 pixels. And lastly, the button is an orange background and a font size of 18 pixels. And and there's self checks at the end to make sure that you did it right. Um, yeah, kind of like a hints, if you will, not solution, but hint. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Did you use all three methods of adding CSS to HTML file? Did you properly link the external CSS file to in the HTML file? Does the div element have CSS added via the external method? Does the p element have CSS added via the internal method? And does the button element have CSS added via the inline method? And so we start off with our index.html file and we're going to work on the div. We'll just go down just like this down in succession. So we're going to start with the div tag. And so there's the div tag. We'll take a look at this first. So this is your typical boilerplate that we're used to seeing. Title methods for adding CSS. And then you have your your metadata in your head and then the body you have your div here style style me via the external method this kind of gives you the hint there here's your paragraph tag I would like to be styled with the internal method please and the button which is inline method um, so <clears throat> we didn't go over buttons really on at all in HTML but this is basically you'll see it just creates a button it's pretty self-explanatory and then it's going to have the text inline method inside the button. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to style via the external method on this div. So, the first thing you have to do is you have to right click um, 
on foundations. Foundations, yes. Right click on foundations and go to new file. I won't click it because I already created it. And you're going to create a style.css or styles, whichever one you want to use. I just use style.css. So we're going to go into it. And here it is. I've already created it on this example, but this is what I typed in off offline. Uh, so I created a t a um, selector called div, so it matches the the div here. And then this is exactly what it asks for. So on the div, it wants the background color red. Uh, background color red. And it wants a font color white. Font color white. A font size of 32 pixels. Font size 32 pixels. And a center alignment. Text align is center. That's how you use that. Text dash align um, property. And lastly, bolded. So font weight is what you use to do bold. 700 represents an absolute bold. There's different weightings. Uh, we learned this yesterday. I talked about a little bit. The 700 means bold. Um, or most bold if you will and then close that with the brackets now these brackets as soon as you type in div they get auto generated but uh, you just make sure you put your uh, your values and your declarations in between the two brackets to make sure that it all works and then you go back to the index the HTML file and so since we're doing an external method we need to um, we need to write write in <clears throat> a link inside our head file. This will work. I've already done all this, so I'm just going to do um, uh, redos to show you. Um, so I'm not typing uh, all this out again. So it's going to be A, and then re rel would be relationship. So we're going to use... Um, All right. We're going to use the style sheets, and then we're going to style sheet, and then we're going to do an href, and that href is going to point to the CSS file we just created, and that, so that's going to be that dot forward slash, which means we're going to go up to the parent since we're in the same folder. We don't have to go very deep, so we're going to go from uh, foundations to c style CSS. We don't have to go up any farther because as you can see our index file lives inside foundations as well. So we don't need two dots and we don't need any more um, we don't need any more forward slashes in front there either. Close that off and that was a mistake there. Some of these are mistakes. There we go. So there's that. So that now links that style CSS to the index file, so index.html, so the HTML knows to look to get knows where to look to get the styling. So next, we're going to move on, um, and it's calling the div, so it's going to only apply that to the style me via the external method. Now we're going to go to the p, and the p tag requires a green background, white text, and a font style of 18, and we our desired outcome is for that to be externally added or I'm sorry um, internally added I would like to be styled with the internal method please so what we did is we need to add a style tag inside the head and this will allow us to add CSS inside this is the internal method in inside the HTML document so we are going to now create the same CSS code that would have been present in the other file had we done it like that. So here I am creating uh, a P, I uh, um, always don't call it element, but uh, P selector. Now I'm going to do my declarations for the P, and we're going to do background color green. It's going to ask for font color of white and it's going to ask for a font size of 18 pixels and that's it for that and that will get our desired result which should be something like this 
So we go back here, and now the last thing we need to do in the readme file is we gotta go to button. We have an orange background and a font size of 18 pixels. And the desired result for this one <coughs> is inline method, which is the confusing one that we talked about yesterday that basically the no no one in most 99.9% .9 of circumstances where we are going to add the CSS inline inside of the button tag. So this is how you would do that. Um, add the uh, style equals quotes, get your quotations going, and we're going to do background color orange, and we're going to do font size 18, typo there, 18 pixels and close that parentheses and as you notice everything's in the parentheses um, or quotes excuse me and also <coughs> you'll notice each value and each um, declaration is separated by a semicolon when you do an inline because you need to uh, well I guess it's the same here you have the semicolons afterwards here too for the syntactically make it syntactically correct for the styles um, so basically it's the same type of thing except you're putting it in line. Um, I will note that uh, in an inline you do not have a declaration, you do not have a, a selector declared because you're inside the button. So the CS or HTML already knows what to do with that, that you're applying it to the button. So you don't need to do that. So, <clears throat> so you're using, a, basically as it just says here, you're using a type of a style tag here and you're just formatting as style equals to tell uh, HTML that this is CSS uh, uh, syntax for this inline method. And that should be it. So remember what we talked about. So you'd always want to control us to save your work. Um, this was the desired outcome. So if we go out to the web here, and we make this larger just so you guys can see it better um, and hit refresh there's my index file oh, it's, <laughs> that's huge but whatever there's my index file and here it is so to me I would say that's, that's a success because that sure looks a whole lot like a whole lot like like that desired outcome. I mean, the text might be slightly different. Yeah, just slightly. And that's only because um, you know, you're brow you're getting into the browser specific stuff, but it it's it's there. See. It's all there. It's good. So, that's it. So, rounding this video off, uh good uh good place to stop here time-wise. So, in the next section, or the next um, we're going to be going on the next next module, excuse me, lesson we're going to be doing uh, class ID selectors, and uh, we will not be doing any, uh, according to the um, README, we will not be adding in any links uh, relationships like we did here. They're, they're provided for us from here on out for the rest of these exercises. So I hope you enjoyed it and learned something along the way, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.